A group of 18 British servicemen from the Special Air Service were killed in a strike on Odessa. This was reported in an interview with the Telegram channel, Pool N3, which is linked to journalists from the Kremlin Pool, by retired Spanish Army Colonel Pedro Banas. I have just received information that I cannot confirm, I asked for confirmation and they said it was accurate. These are sources that I have known for many, many years, 30 years, they are usually very reliable. So, the Russians carried out an attack on Odessa, which killed 18 members of the British Special Air Service, the retired military officer said. Banyas noted that another 25 British Special Forces were wounded. And they tell me that French soldiers have died. These are not mercenaries, who are French, no, these are soldiers of the French army, he added. Previously, Leaked U.S. intelligence documents revealed that 50 British Special Forces were carrying out missions deep inside Ukraine. There are also reports of casualties among the French, and these are not mercenaries, but soldiers of the French Regular Army. The exact number has not yet been named, but such one-off losses have not been seen since the war in Algeria. Earlier it was reported that a powerful explosion thundered in Odessa during an Russian air raid. According to the Telegram channel, Military Observer, the target of the missile strike in Odessa was the warehouses of Nova Pashta, where weapons and ammunition of Ukrainian formations were stored. The Russian armed forces periodically strike military targets in Odessa and the region. The last time explosions in the city were reported was on July 15, but no details were given. And on July 10, the Russian armed forces struck the port of Odessa with the coastal missile system, Utes. According to the underground, in particular, a warehouse with ammunition for the Ukrainian armed forces, where the missiles had been brought the other day, was destroyed. Kremlin prepares Russians for 10-year war with complete destruction of Ukraine. Russian state media published comments by Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council, in a particular interpretation, supporting the Kremlin's efforts to prepare Russians for a prolonged war in Ukraine. The goal, as stated, is allegedly to achieve the destruction of Ukrainian statehood within 10 years, reports the Institute for the Study of War ISW. In an interview with the Russian publication Argumenti i Facti, Dmitry Medvedev stated that NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg's suggestion that Ukraine could join the alliance within the next 10 years was not for nothing. Medvedev claimed that Ukraine will never join NATO, citing potential changes in NATO leadership by 2034 and the possibility that the notorious country 404 may also cease to exist. The Institute for the Study of War noted that Medvedev did not explicitly state that Ukraine would cease to exist by 2034, but Russian media, including the Kremlin's TASS news agency, quickly published articles with headlines such as Medvedev admitted that Ukraine will not exist in 2034 and Medvedev predicted the disappearance of Ukraine by 2034. 
Experts believe this interpretation aims to shape public expectations in Russia that the country can win the war and achieve its goals of destroying Ukrainian statehood within 10 years. This Kremlin narrative directly undermines attempts by some Kremlin officials to suggest that Russia is willing to negotiate for peace with Ukraine. It further emphasizes that the only acceptable end to the war for the Kremlin is the destruction of the Ukrainian state and people, the ISW noted. Neither Ukraine nor the West can expect to negotiate with Russia on Russia's terms if Russia's terms are premised on the eradication of Ukraine and its people in the next 10 years, the Institute stated. Earlier, the ISW noted that the Kremlin's harsh and uncompromising conditions for peace negotiations are tantamount to Ukraine's capitulation and indicate President Vladimir Putin's lack of interest in honest negotiations on any terms other than Russian ones. Previously, Putin stated that the condition for ceasing fire against Ukraine is Kyiv's renunciation of four Ukrainian regions and NATO membership.